Good evening everyone, my name is uh, Richard Stratum from South Africa. Um, let me give you some background, I'm a qualified millwright and I'm also a qualified rigger. And um, I'll be doing my wireman's license and for me to do that I need to do the installation rules paper 1 and paper 2. Now. Doing that, I need to do the SANS 101 42-1. The book in front of me is for low voltage installations. The current book that I've got is the small book. You can see I've already made some, some notes. We're going to be going through it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to go through the book and uh, that's our study, looking at videos. Yeah, so uh, we'll go through the books together and we'll go from there. The book in front of me, the small book, is a 2021 version. This one we got from the college. This book is a 2019 one. It's the same book. Just... It's a little thicker, you can see. I haven't made a lot of notes in this one. I have made a lot of notes in the smaller book. So we're not gonna go through the entire book tonight. We're just starting off with the current regulations. So this is the SANS 101 42-1. Uh, it is the 2019 version, this one that we're going to have a look at, the one version 2021, we'll just have a, like a cross-reference between the two. So it's uh, the wiring of a premises, part one, low voltage installation. Um, if you need a copy of this book, you can just download it from the website and print it's quite extensive and quite enlightening. Looking at the front page, again, it's a 2019 version. The 2021 version is the same. Edition 3 looks the same. Warning, do not copy the book without permission. The foreword of the book is not that important. The table of contexts. Um, we're going to look at part one, the scope for tonight. The application of this part, aspects covered in this part. We're going to have a look at that one tonight. We'll continue during this month looking at the the other ones. So I've actually marked. The first one, which is a scope. Um, please note that this question was asked in the paper one questionnaire. Paper one, question two, on the 18th of August, 2021. I will share as well the questionnaire papers that are here on my right hand side. Right. Part one, low voltage installations. So the scope is important. You need to know what this is applicable to. So application of this part of SANS, the part of SANS 10142 applies to electrical installations of, you've got a few here, yeah? a residential, a residential premises, commercial premises, Public, industrial, prefabricated buildings, fixed surface installations on mining properties. Take note of that one. It's fixed surface installations on mining properties. Quick one that does not cover the underground one. I think underground's got a different one. Construction and demolition sites, installation, agriculture and horticultural premises, caravan sites and similar sites. Marinas, pleasure craft and houseboats, 
medical location, exhibition fairs and other temporary installations, extra low voltage lighting installations, electrical installations for street lights and street furniture, and equipment closures, enclosures. That is a structure that provides a physical and environmental protection for telecommunication equipment. So if you look at the 2021 version, exactly the same. There is not a lot of changes. As you can see, this is Insulation Rules Paper 1, the 18th of August, 2021. Question 2 revolves around the scope. What I've seen most of the questionnaires is they actually do have a few questions on the scope. So name five premises for which this part of SANS applies to electrical installations. So you need to name five out of these ones. So the best way that you can remember that is residential, commercial, public, industrial, prefabricated. Other one that's quite easy to remember is uh, medical locations. And then of course, fixed surface installations on mining premises. So please remember that is on the questionnaire that was last year, on the 18th of August, 2021. Same question two, name five aspects which the standard covers. So when you look at the aspects of which the standard covers, right next to the next page, we're gonna have a look at that. Normally what I do, I read through the aspects covered. In this part, this part of SANS covers Circuit supplies at nominal voltages up to and including a thousand volts AC or 1500 volts DC. The standard frequency AC is 50 Hertz. The use of frequencies for special purposes is not excluded. Circuits other than internal wiring of apparatuses the operate that operate at voltages exceeding 1000 volts and are derived from an installation that has a voltage not exceeding 1000 volts ac any wiring system and cables not specifically covered by the standard for appliances. All customer installations to external buildings. Fixed wire, fixed wiring in the power supply circuit for telecommunication equipment. Signal equipment and control equipment. The extensions or alterations of installations and also part of an existing installation affected by extending extension or alteration. Fixed wiring needed to connect in needed to connect the various units of a complex machinery are that are installed in separate locations. Equipment for which no standard is referenced. Replacement or maintenance of components and earthing arrangements. Going back to question two. Name five aspects which 
this standard covers. Right, now from all of these ones, you need to remember only five. So the easier, the easier ones all customer installations for external two buildings earthing arrangements replacement and or maintenance of components equipment for which no standard is referenced so you got one two three four and then the extension or alteration of the installation so you just need to remember five of these ones but the best is just to study these ones so these are the aspects that are covered by the sands where this part of sands is not applicable electrical traction equipment automotive electrical equipment excluding the caravan part of a ro rovering vehicle electrical installation on board ships electrical installations in an aircraft electrical installations for underground and open cast mining operations telecommunications television and radio circuits external lightning protection of building and structures and extra low voltage circuits between parts of machinery system components forming a unit that are separately installed 1.4 electrical equipment is dealt with only as far as its select selection and applic application in the installation are concerned so that is the part one that we'll be covering tonight in the sense the introduction to the scope application of this part of sands aspects covered where this part of sands is not applicable and electrical equipment so just to run through again the scope they'll ask you to name five of this where this application of this part of sands of 10142 applies to electrical installations of residential commercial all these ones aspects covered you need to remember five because they'll always ask five so the easiest one is all customer installations external to buildings the extension or alteration of an installation and also parts of the existing installation affected by the existing extension or alteration equipment for which no standard is referenced replacement or maintenance of components and earthing arrangements i haven't seen this one yet where it's not applicable but that's easy to remember five traction equipment automotive electrical installations on board ships electrical installations and aircraft so it's quite easy to remember so what we'll do night by night we will cover the sands book from both both books and we'll look at some questions from the questionnaire papers so what we'll do tomorrow we'll start with definitions and I'll show you how I study definitions you don't need to study them word by word the uh, when they question you in the exam one of the question one of the remarks is answer all the questions that is instruction read the questions carefully number them answer must show candidates understand the context of the question 
you must pass with 50% on both papers. We will cover both papers during this few months that we go through. So, we'll go through the, we'll start with the definitions on the next part. So what you can do is subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. I'll upload the video tonight and then uh, keep a look for the out for the other video. Thank you.